the lord is kind and merciful beautiful response to your psalm we heard today kindness and mercy they are like two sides of the same coin we know god is love in the year of mercy cardinal walter gasper wrote a book and he titled it mercy the very first chapter the first line goes like this the name of god is mercy so he named god by mercy so mercy and love they are like two sides of the same coin as i said today if you notice the first phase of the gospel speaks about the repentance two times jesus mentions here if you don't repent you will all perish likewise so there's a call for repentance the second phase of the gospel speaks about mercy mercy of god like the owner of the orchard god is there to give extra time he is so merciful so the two phase of the gospel today i would like to bring the gospel attention into biblical perspective for example we know the book of matthew mark and luke the gospels they are known as synoptic gospels they speak same account of jesus miracle same account of jesus preaching and same narrations most of the uh, events but only this particular the parable what we just heard the fig tree it's totally different from matthew and mark luke completely brings in different perspective but all the three speaks about a fig tree matthew and mark they bring the fig tree on the way of jesus journey towards jerusalem jesus looks at this tree there is no fruit and he curses it when they come back from jerusalem the disciples noticed master cursed the tree there is no fruit that's why he cursed the tree so this kind of account matthew and mark they speak but luke the book of luke the gospel of luke is known as gospel of mercy we find more events where we can experience god's mercy in the book of the gospel of luke for example the prodigal son that perspective luke wants to bring this parable that god is so merciful so he placed the fig tree here again to bring the concept of mercy and today if you notice the mercy repentance the first phase of the gospel repentance then conversion all those three are a kind of related they have a kind of interconnectedness what is mercy what is repentance and what kind of conversion that seek that seeks for our life let me share with you a story from our indian soil sister rani maria sister rani maria was a professed religious nun and the belonging to the congregation of uh, franciscan clarist congregation she was working in the northern part of india the dais is called indoor at the age of 41 she was killed when she was traveling on the public transportation the reason behind it as a young man 41 years old she was so involved in the social uh activist like a social actions she was known for her fearless activist actions towards the poor and the tribal we know the tribals they don't have they won't well recognized by their rights so this sisters becomes a voice for those voiceless and normally she could able to she could gain the enmity between the land owners or the big shots over there and they had a plan to kill her and the person one who was going behind her on the travel who killed was 
the murderer name was Samantar Singh, a Hindu fanatic. The story behind is the murderer was arrested and convicted to jail. Sister Rani Maria's own youngest sister was also, is still she is, also a nun. She went to the prison, met this guy in Samandar Singh and said, Brother, I forgive you. We, our family members, forgive you. That's what I had a heart touching and kind of flash news in the media. The following year, the sister also took her mom to the prison and had a beautiful encounter this man, uh, the mother and the murderer. The mother took the hands of this murderer and kissed the hands and said, I forgive. I kiss your hand because it touched the blood of my daughter, she said. It's a kind of heart-touching moment. After a couple of years for the good contact, Samandar Singh was released. Then he came back all the way from north to the south where the sister comes from. And now she is with the mother, taking care of the mother. And she become like one of the family members in their family. And recently, and a couple of years before she was given the title of Servant of God, Sister, Sister Rani Maria, because shedding blood, witnessing Christ's values. Last year she was recognized as she was beatified. She is blessed now. Samandar Singh was there for her beatification. Say so what a blessing one side. That brought a kind of uh, repentance or conversion. Now Samandar Singh is completely, totally changed. The new person become uh, one of the family members in their own family. That's what the mercy, repentance and the conversion has a kind of interconnectedness. What is mercy? Expressing our love into action. Putting our love into concrete action. That is mercy. Whatever circumstances we encounter, let us express our love, our kindness toward those who are against us. That is a true witnessing of Christ's mercy. What is a repentance? Repentance in a biblical perspective, we have two phrases in the Old Testament, the words called Zab and Neham. Those two words, a kind of invitation to turn and return. Those are the meaning they say. Turn and return. What are the turn? Turn away from and return to somebody. Turn away from all our evils. Turn away from all our misbehaviors and turn towards God, coming back to Christ. And that's what real repentance is. Whoever may be, whatever situation we are, let us put away all those things. Come away from those events, those circumstances. Let us move towards Christ. That is repentance. That's what the Lent is, a kind of invitation it gives us. Coming back to God, putting away all our uh, mislives. That's a repentance. Ezekiel gives a three kind of invitation. Just I would like to quote, If you have sinned, acknowledge the sin and repent. God will give, this, God will give forgive the sin. Three times Ezekiel included this concept saying, Repent, turn from your idols and renounce all your detestable practices. Repent, turn away from all your offenses. Turn, turn from your evil hobbies. That is repentance is all about. Coming back to God, turn away from all our evil things. And thirdly, of course, as I said, conversion. Conversion is complete change. The, the Hebrew word that they use is metanoia, complete change, total change. Take the example of Samandar Singh. A person who was a murderer now becomes a member of the family and taking care of his own family, witnessing the Christ love there. He, he converted into Christianity. That's another interesting thing. A Hindu fanatic, very much rooted in Hinduism, now completely after witnessing the beatification of Sister Rani Maria, now he was baptized, now he's practicing Christ, Catholicism. So such a witnessing life completely changed, that is metanoia, that is conversion. 
That's what the, the Christ invites us in the Lent calls for. So today we pray in a special way. God bless us. Let us be an instrument of God, God's mercy and love. Come back to him, repent, and we enjoy his friendship, his fellowship, and his blessings, his grace. Then we extend our grace to bring this total change in the society, in the world, and above all, within ourselves. May God bless us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.